Hi, I'm Corey Stegerode Place, part of the AI Cloud Advocacy team here at Microsoft, and I have the absolute pleasure of delivering lesson number 13, yes, lucky number 13, to you covering securing your generative AI applications. And if you have the right security strategy, luck, you don't need luck on your side, you have a good plan in place. And that's what we're going to discuss today. So just to do a bit of introduction, this lesson is going to cover security within the context of AI systems. What are the common risks and threats that you need to look at when you're building generative AI applications? And just methods and considerations for securing these systems or these applications that you're de de developing. So the learning goals. So we're going to examine the threats and risks that you have in, against your AI systems and applications. We're also going to look at methods and practices that you can put in place to secure against those risks. And lastly, how you can actually implement and security testing to prevent any of these unexpected results. And like I said, so you can continue to have user trust and have a working a environment for your generative AI application. So let's start with security and generative AI, these two topics and how do they relate to each other? Well, the impact of generative AI cannot be said even more. Uh, this, this diagram is a really good understanding of the market size of generative AI in terms of the applications uh, that are being built. And you can already see when, that we have more, if we have more generative AI applications, we should have more secure generative AI applications. And taking from this uh, OWASP list, and OWASP is a authority in terms of cybersecurity, there's actually, they have defined 10 uh, significant threats or security challenges for large language model applications. Well, we won't go through all of these in this lesson. Uh, you can check out the link below uh, within uh, the GitHub repo of this course. So you can see all the details of these threats. But there's some that we will be covering, things like prompt injection, over-reliance on a model, as well as uh, you know training data, data poisoning, and even model denial of service. We think that we also will cover throughout this course and in particular in this lesson as well. So now that we understand all of the challenges that we have as application developers building with generative AI and large language models, let's look at specifically in details these threats and risks that we have. And lastly, how can we circumvent them or mitigate them through direct correct security practices? So we'll look at the first one, it's called prompt injection. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of think this is uh, using the idea of prompts, so prompt engineering, but not for the intended behaviors of your application. So you can actually, we've seen threats and attacks out there uh, where they've used prompts to either extract sensitive information. So this could be sensitive information that your generative AI application integrates with or perform unwanted tasks. So throughout this course, we will talk about things like uh, building a meta prompt or a system prompt. And we've seen even attacks on those sorts of methods where uh, users can come in and almost trick the LLM into doing things that it's not necessarily designed to do. Uh, this can lead into things like responding with bias or misinformation or even sending hateful content to our users, uh, largely because all of the security measures or safety measures that we put in place are removed through these prompt, prompt injections. And then lastly, uh, even exploiting the, the vulnerabilities of the AI models themselves. Large language models still is a rather new technology. And if you, we find vulnerabilities in the models themselves, uh, you can use, uh, attackers can use prompts to find out uh, and get unwanted, un, unwanted consequences for your users. Next one we're talking about is supply chain vulnerabilities. And this is not supply chain in terms of shipping and things like that, but I like to think of this as kind of like the infrastructure that runs around your whole generative AI applications. So there's things, a lot of vulnerabilities, perhaps in when you're using outdated software, there's many new tools out there in terms of being able to deliver generative AI applications and manage them well. And it's important as application developers uh, to make sure that we're not using anything outdated that could have security vulnerabilities. As well as uh, insecure plugins and toolings, we're finding out more and more that when we hook these uh, generative AI applications into other software systems to get information and data, it actually performs really well in terms of the user experience. We wanna make sure that we're using the right plugins and toolings uh, that does not create any vulnerabilities in that as well. 
And then lastly, it's the idea of over-reliance. When we overtrust the LLM's uh, responses and we put those responses in situations where they're prone either to uh, having errors or inaccuracies, because as we have probably discussed it in other lessons as well, uh, large language models, they are prone to either hallucinate or fabricate information at times. And this can lead to unwanted consequences uh, if we just take them at face value and we just leave them, lead them to the negative consequences that they present. So now that we've looked at those challenges, like how can we overcome them or build out security tests and systems uh, to protect against these, uh, these attacks? So with the idea of prompt injection, we really want to mitigate this, whether that's validating the input of the user, so we're making sure that this isn't any um, disruptive prompts or content filtering, where we're making sure that the content that is being sent to the users goes through a filter or even sanitizing response and request uh, in the cases so that we're making sure that this information is what we are expecting to send to the model. And then largely it's about monitoring, making sure that we're logging users' inputs as well as the responses. Uh, and if we see any typical attacks, even adding those users or that information to certain watch lists so we can make sure in the future to mitigate those harms. Next is supply chain vulnerabilities. So we always want to ensure that we're using the latest secure version. And I don't just say latest version because sometimes the latest version, unfortunately, is not always this most secure. But using the latest secure version or latest one in, in deployed, we we'll also want to verify the plugins that we're using or even build our own plugins if necessary. And then verifying the model for correctness and completeness is an important step. And then lastly, through the testing of what we call adversarial testing, which is through AI red teaming, where we're actually challenging and creating scenarios where we might see vulnerabilities in our applications and then finding out where we can improve upon. And on the over-reliance standpoint, again, this is all about over-trusting the output of the model. The first step is user education. Giving them the understandings of the limitations of the model or where errors could occur is very important. Also, verifying the output and monitoring them with various monitoring tools that are available and then lastly, testing and evaluation, presenting not only a relevant prompts that you think of, but also a very diverse set of prompts uh, towards the use case that you're building. So you can see the types of outputs and responses that you get from the model is very important in terms of how the user experience is driven after you've launched this into production. So that wraps up this lesson in terms of bu building security applications or securing your generative AI applications. You can get more information here in the full, in the full course at aka.ms slash genaibeginners. And keep building and keep building secure. Thank you.